And now to our continuing coverage of the floating Beijing crisis. It's been several months since the invading Triceratons lifted the entire Chinese capital into the stratosphere. The atmospheric shield that surrounds the city has been proven impenetrable. The city is kept aloft by a huge Triceraton anti-gravity generator. And while efforts by Beijing's top scientific minds to gain control of this alien technology have been undertaken, the results have proven near disastrous. Must reverse energy flow. With no way in, no way out, and no way down, there seems to be no way to save the poor people of Beijing. Dr. Chaplin, I trust what you have to show me will justify this excursion from the city. Believe me, Master, you're gonna dig it big time. You brought us all the way out here for a blimp? What pea-brained halfwit authorized this project? I did. Oh, well, I'm sure you have your reasons, O oh wise and revered master. Indeed. Excellent work, Dr. Chaplin. I installed that Triceraton force field override mechanism you recovered, just as you requested, sir. This baby will breach the atmospheric shield around Beijing and retrieve the desired cargo, no problem. And just what does the boy genius think he's retrieving? A Triceraton anti-gravity generator. But master, removing an anti-grav generator from a city floating 20 miles above the Earth's surface is a virtual suicide mission. Yes, that is why I have selected you to lead this operation. Me? But Master, what of the millions of innocents that will perish when Beijing comes crashing to Earth? They are of no concern to me. How dare you question the Master? I'm behind this plan 100%. Good. You will have the honor of accompanying Dr. Stockman on this extremely dangerous mission. Here it is, just like I told you. Another one of Shredder's alien tech garbage-picking goon squads. I wonder what he's collecting all this stuff for. Intergalactic yard sale? Ow! Hmm. No police security this time around. Must be something really important buried down there if Shredder doesn't want the authorities knowing about it. Huh? Hello? <sighs> oh, not that stupid fax call again. Only this time, I came prepared with my palm top to trace the signal. Download in progress? Impossible! Don, figure it out later. We've got something much bigger over here. Whoa! A Triceraton supply ship? Let's take a closer look. All our loyal service. And this is the thanks we get. Pushed aside by the new blood. Perhaps it's time we started pushing back. Hey, I just wanted to say, no matter how bad the Shredder treats you, I'm still honored to be working with the legendary Baxter Stockman. Even if you are a freakish, brain-in-a-jar shadow of your former self. The truth is, I can't stand seeing someone I admire reduced to such a pathetic existence. So I've decided to put an end to your suffering. <laughs> Wait, what are you... No, what, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, no foot goons. Where did they all go? I don't like it. Keep your eyes open. You think they're in the ship? Only one way to find out.
nothing in here of any value to the Shredder. Nothing except us turtles! Karai? We need to talk. Talk to the size, cause the ears ain't listening. Raph, wait! Let's hear her out. She helped us last time, remember? And she tried to kill you the time before that, remember? I apologize for the elaborate setup, but I knew of no other way to contact you. I need your help. survive the big mission. Ah, yes, the mission. Pity you'll miss out on the maiden voyage of this incredible vessel you designed and built with your own two hands. Not to mention witness firsthand as an entire city crashes down from the stratosphere. Man, that'd be so cool. Yes. Of course you could decide to go behind the Shredder's back and join us. But that would be wrong, wouldn't it? Hey, what the boss doesn't know won't hurt him, right? True. And naturally, I would assume full responsibility for your well-being throughout the entire mission. After all, we wouldn't want you to fall victim to some unfortunate accident. And so if they remove the anti-grab generator, they will be sending millions to their doom. I need you to prevent this from happening. So does this mean you finally come to your senses and turned your back on the Shredder? I am duty-bound to serve the Shredder as always. I just do not wish to see millions suffer. Even if we agree to help you, what's to stop the Shredder from coming back for the anti-grab generator the next time? It's not like we can shut it down. Actually, I might be able to provide some assistance regarding that particular technical conundrum. Whoa! I must be hearing things! That sounded like Professor Honeycutt! Hello? It is Professor Honeycutt! Professor, you're alive! No way! It can't be! We saw you sacrifice yourself! You saved the world! Oh dear, I'm afraid I don't remember any of that. The last thing I recall, I was on a rooftop with Donatello, broadcasting a signal to make me invisible to the Triceratons. What I didn't tell you is that I also uploaded a backup of my memory core into the satellite communications network, set to contact you in the event of my destruction. Which, I'm assuming, must have happened. So you were the one making those calls to my shell cell. And the download? That was you sending your memory core into my palm top. Well, most of it. Your hard drive was lacking capacity, so I had to forego some non-essential information. Who cares, Professor? I'm just so happy to see you! I'm sorry. Do I know you? Michelangelo! Mikey? The Mikester? Wait, so I'm non-essential information? Anyway, I couldn't help overhearing your dilemma, Miss... Karai. With my knowledge of Triceraton technology, I should be able to assume control of the anti-grav generator and gently lower the city of Beijing back to Earth. In theory. Saving millions of lives in the process. That's brilliant, Professor. So am I to assume we have a deal? Deal. Okay, now how do we get into Beijing? Leave that to me. What's in the crate, Karai? And why are you suddenly joining this mission? That is none of your concern. Hmm. 
What exactly is all this? Uh-uh-uh. That'd spoil the surprise. Hey! Attention all hands! Welcome to China! The floating city of Beijing is dead ahead. Pretty cool, huh? Stand by. We are approaching Beijing. About time. I really gotta go to the little turtle's room. Activating force field override. <laughs> to do. We're just about to touch down in Tiananmen Square. Where's Karai? She got bumped from the mission. Apparently she had a little falling out with the organization. Oh, who if we don't you long? Hey, what was with the instant skydiving lesson? It was an unforeseen event. But I have my suspicions as to who is responsible. You know what your problem is, lady? You can't decide whether you want to help us or kill us. Make up your mind already. Not now, Raph. We're miles off target and we need to get to Tiananmen Square. Hey, guys. How about this? Low tech, but effective. Hop on, Karai. Karai? Nobody warned us we'd have a welcoming committee to contend with. No sweat, Doc. Time to unleash my surprise. <laughs> Mousers version 2.0. I took your basic concept and gave him a little upgrade. Cool, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Upgrade? More like a side grade. Go! 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 some reptiles get here. I've got this one, Dr. Stockman. Mousers, attack! It's funny. Karai never mentioned anything about overgrown mousers. Nothing fancy, guys. Just clear a path for Don and the Professor. <laughs> Shutdown sequence. Get ready to haul me up when this baby rips free from the pavement. <laughs> You're too late, green guy. What? What the shell? That's not supposed to happen. We're 
gonna have to ditch it. Oh, that's not all we're gonna ditch, my boy. coming to your aid earlier if the shredder were to find out enough talk let's do it Until you walk away from the Shredder, Karai. You know I cannot do that. This is the perfect opportunity. They think you're dead. You can disappear. We can help you start a new life. Could you so easily turn your back on your father? Even if you knew the things he did were wrong. Hmm. What are you looking at? Isn't the Forbidden City supposed to be north of here and isn't the sun supposed to rise in the east oh dear did i set the city down facing the wrong direction the master will be disappointed that we came back empty-handed not to mention the unfortunate demise of karai and young dr dablin we'll blame it all on them just follow my lead Master, we have unfortunate news. Karai and Dr. Chaplin are... Wait. Perhaps you would like to share your news with Karai and Dr. Chaplin. Hi, Dr. Stockman. Everything's okay. We made it. But, 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 but sir, we, we can explain. 